Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It is Thursday, July 4th. This is Independence Day 2024. And we'll see if it goes just as fast as yesterday's, I think, record setting time. I don't have any repeats in the top three rows. In the middle three rows, I think I get a four out of it. And from the looks of things, nothing else. In the bottom three rows, I'll get a one. Actually placed in box seven because I have three, one, two, three, ones looking into it. That's it. As far as columns, I just did the only thing I get for the left three. The middle three gets a three right there, which I can follow on from. The four goes there in column four. I can't do anything else with it. Nope. And on the right, Six four three five five six four three nine five nine one six. Okay, I get a nine there, and that's all I'm gonna get. Okay, let's see. Six can't go here because of this, so six must go there. Well, actually, that's a six. It's forced, and therefore that's a six. Therefore, one of these three is, and I think. Have I done as much as I can? No, because one of those two is six. I think that's about as much as I can do. I don't have enough information to place a six in boxes four or six yet. Now, five can't go here. This one twice, but it could go here or there, so that doesn't help me. Evans in one of those two in box nine. Let's see, one, two, three, five, six. So this is four, seven, eight, nine, and this can't be nine. This one isn't four. Okay, so that's no help. Let's see, five can't go here or there, but that still leaves one, two, three spots. Four, six, two, one, three. Four and six are here, and four and six are there. Erk. One, two, three, four, six in column five. I need five, seven, eight, and nine. Fill out the column. And other than five in one of these two, I don't have much to go with it, but that says five must go in one of these three, but not here. That limits five to two places in column four, box two. These three are three fourths of a five, seven, eight, nine quad. I don't know if I can fill in the rest though. Two, seven, eight, nine here, and this can't be three, four, or six. But it could be five. Okay, that's not eight. This isn't eight. That's not one or nine, and I don't see anything obvious coming out of it. In row two, I have one, two, five, six placed. I need three, four, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this can't be three or four. Oh, that can't be three or four. That can't be three or four, and that can't be three or four. So, guess what? This isn't 9 and that one is. Oh. Okay, how many, not, how many 9s do I have? Just 4. I don't have much, do I? Let's see, uh, one, three, six, nine, and box nine are done. I need two, four, five, seven, eight, of which those aren't seven. If I clean up the rest, I don't have enough to go on because other than seven on the diagonal in one of two places, I haven't really done anything else useful. 
Okay, those two can only be 7 from the odd digits or any of the evens looking at just the row and Oh, this doesn't help me any. Uh, 1, 5, 6, 9 in column 8. No, 3, 4, and 7 are out from this one. 4, 7, 8 are out from this one. Okay, so this isn't 4. And these aren't 4 by box. Now, this could still be a 4. Erk. Uh, 4, 7, 9 are done in box 6. Uh, 3, 5, and 6 are out here. 6, 8, and 3 are out. Okay, well, okay, uh, these two 6s force it there, doesn't does it? See six, seven, nine, and these look like two, three, four, five, eight in five cells. Now, where do I place a one in column nine? It can't go here or here or these spots because of that. So one in column nine is actually a hidden cell. Okay, those are going to be from 1, 2, 5, 7, and 8, but neither can be 5. And as it turns out, neither can be 1. Okay, that leaves a 2, 7, 8 triple here. This isn't 2, 7, or 8. That helps. I've got 2, 7, 8 as a triple that turns a corner in box 3. doesn't do anything useful whatsoever with column 8 or 9. See, these are 1, 6, or 9 are rolled out. A row 3. Neither of those could be 2. That takes out 8, and this takes out 5. Neither of those cells are 3 or 4, and this also isn't 5. So now I've got two-thirds of a 278 here that isn't filled in the rest of the row, unfortunately. This can't be 1, 2, 3, or 6 for row 7. But I can take out at least one digit from every one of the other cells. That helps. Not really. This takes out 9, this takes out 8, this takes out 5 and 2. And 4, 6, or 9 are ruled out. Okay, neither of these are 8 by box, neither of these are 5, also by box, and that's not 2 by column. So this is not helpful. Not the most efficient way to do it, but this is the best way I have for large data entry since I don't have a numeric keypad. And I'm doing this one-handed. Let's see. Um, Okay, I've got nine in one of those two. That's not weird. Oh, and six is in one of these two. Let's see, in one. Yeah, one is still one of those two. Okay, where does one go in row four? It just occurred to me that I think it has to go here because these aren't one by box. This isn't one by given. That's also not one by given. So one in box four is going to be a color dark green because that's a hidden single digit. And two or five and does absolutely nothing else.
Let's see, what's left to fill in is just row 1, and that can't be 3, 4, or 9. Just on the row. None of these cells were 1 or 2, by box logic. Clean up the rest. That only gets rid of 6, and I don't have much else left to do, do I? But, these can't be won by these ones. This can't be won by that given one in row 6. This one by the one in row 8. So, 1 in column 6 is six is hidden. And you notice I essentially found three different ones in this grid. Okay, this is saying I have eight ones. Yep, now that's a 1 which essentially is also a hidden digit, so all my 1's ended up being hidden. But there's all my 1's. Let's see, 7, 8, 9 means neither of these are 7 or 8. That places two, the 2 there. That's a 5. This now isn't 2. That's not 2. 7, 8, 9 in column 6 is left as a triple. See, neither of those cells are five. They don't really see each other. Oh, this is now a hidden two because the rest of column four is a four, seven, eight quadruple. That's going to do some damage. Five, three. This isn't three or five. I think I can type it. This is four, three, four. These aren't 4, this isn't 5, which places the 5 in column 5. What, well, that's 7, 8, 9. Now forms its own triple. As does this one in column 5 and box 5, respectively. So I have a lot of 7, 8, 9s that are interacting with each other. 4 is now placed in row 5. That places the 7 in the row, which places the 9, and that's going to unwind just about all my 7, 8, 9s. Okay, I end up with a bunch of 8, 9s. Let me, that's a 3, that's a 2, that's 6, that's 9, box 4 is done. This can't be 3, so that's 3, because row 3 is now reduced to a 7, 8 pair. Not 4, not 7. Okay, I've got a 5, 8 pair in column 1. So, neither of those are 5 or 8. This is forced to be a 2. That's forced to be a 3. 6 is also placed. In the row, 5 and 2 are placed in box 9. That leaves me with a 7, 8 as an offset. That's remaining. This isn't four. This isn't nine. This isn't five or nine. The five in row seven places the eight. That leaves column three with a seven nine pair, which places the eight and the six. And unwind all my seven eights, which unwinds the rest of my eight nines. And I'm just filling in the rest of the digits at this point. I hope you all enjoyed it. You know, a little bit harder to see all the triples interacting with each other today, and that's why this was a little over 10 minutes, but if it's under 15 and I don't get stuck, that's a good time. I and mean, if it's under 10, that's an excellent time.